just a quick disclaimer that I'm going to be throwing out there. This is the regular tutorial in which everything will be explained word for word. If you want things to be faster, there is an express tutorial. So they, it's an unexplained tutorial. So if you want to try it and check that out, go right ahead. But let's get right into it. Hello, everybody. My name is Christian Quick. Welcome back to another fabric tutorial. Now this video is going to get a little complicated because of its technicality, but it is perfectly okay. If you don't understand something, you'll understand it the more that you're exposed to it and the more you type it out. If you understand it, then that means I comprehended it to you well. Today we're going to be talking about how things are registered, a little bit about base code, and then we are going to actually register a block at the end. So if you just kind of want to skip to this part where we just kind of you just kind of look at all of it if you want to copy and paste that's perfectly fine but i would recommend listening and making some stuff so i would recommend making a new package and in that new package we are going to be calling whatever type of thing that we are going to be registering and i'll show you what kind of things we can register so we're going to be registering a block and inside of that block package we're going to make a new java class and let's call this mod blocks and this is where we are going to put all of our mod blocks in here so we will make uh, basically mod uh, block one, and we're gonna have mod block two. Now, to make those things, obviously it is not that simple. We need to identify what a mod block is, what it needs, and stuff like that. So that means that they are going to need to be uh, re uh, registered, and after they are registered, they are going to need to be initialized so these are basically the three things that happen you have your quotes your thing each thing gets registered and everything that's registered gets initialized initialization happens in here so basically if you read that quotes that i basically have deleted it's going to say everything in here will run minecraft's code and after minecraft code has run perfectly it will then initialize or run our minecraft code after that so everything that we make uh, everything we register has to somehow end up in the initialization phase so that takes care of this now I can make a block, but how do I make a block? We need to register it. So let's focus first on the register. So to make something registered, we are going to need to say a few fancy words. Public means that it's going to be seen in any class file and I can call it anywhere I want. Static is like a public, so this is generally for methods. This is like a public for the method. Uh, I'm not very good at describing it. And here, after we say our things we can now basically say what is it that you are registering if i say void then that simply means that it is returning nothing if i give it a thing i'm just gonna write thing then that means somewhere in my uh, method name and then in here we would have to somehow write return and it's going to have to return that uh thing or in our case the uh registry you can see all the registry words <laughs> so coming back here let's say that we are what are what are we registering well we made a block file so we are going to be registering a block and so we're going to call this register block now this is the actual method and a method is like an action of something that's happening what is happening we are all are well we're registering a block perfectly fine so inside oop, that's really funny it did that uh, we're going to need to uh, put in these parentheses and inside this parentheses we're going to have to say what is the absolute minimum requirements that is going to need what does every single block need I think that every block needs a name and every block needs to be a block <laughs> so we need to somehow state that it is a block so those are more of the variables. So for a name, we can register under uh, we can register under something called string, and then we would write in lowercase the variable. Let's say I I said that the thing needed to have two strings. Uh, string is basically just a piece of text, and I also want to call it name. It's going to say, hey, that the variable name has already been defined in the scope, and then this is talking about like this scope. So I can actually have two variables. I just have to make sure that the variable names are different going back to what I said earlier we are going to need to make sure it is a block so we're going to call this block block now we're getting into the fancy part and remember how I said that everything that if this is so notice how it's saying that there's an error it says missing return statement 
If I said this, this is going to return nothing, it goes away. But it's not returning nothing. We do have to return a block. So we're going to say return. And now we're going to start the registry stuff for it. So we can say registry. And you're going to want the one with a T on it. T net dot Minecraft registry. And you're going to hit tab. Then you're going to do dot. And then you can do register. And then we're going to type in uh, another uppercase. We're going to do re registries. And then we can hit dot. And then here is everything that you can register. Uh, if you make a brand new uh, folder package, if you make a brand new package, this is everything that I would personally make a package for. So if I make things like, if I make features, if I make, uh, well, there's a bunch of stuff that are in here. But, you know, potions, recipe type, more registries. If I make screen handler, screen type, sound events, status effects, all these things should be registered. And I would register them in their own package. Now, are we making an item? No. We're going to be registering a block. So we're going to say registries.block. Now, it's going to tell us that if we want to registry, uh, register a block, these are the things that it's going to need. So we are basically on the registry part. So registry super dot block. And there is a type of thing because we don't actually own this block. We didn't make this block class. So there is a thing that it's going to need. And it's basically going to say we are going to register it. So we are registering the block. Then it's going to need the identifier. So who owns it? I can either say it's Minecraft or it's going to be me. Obviously, in this case, I would say that is me. And then we're going to need to make a block entry. So it looks like this is the specific line of code. There is more than one way to do things. So if I have the same register, uh, well, I'll talk about having more than one method being the same name. But basically, you can have the same method as long as a variable or parameters are different. Your um, methods can be the you can have the two methods with the same name. But here we have register. So now let's call in for the identifier. So who owns it? I own it. So let's say that there is a new identifier. And now it's going to say you need to put in an ID. And what is our ID? It's going to say that we are going to need a uh, ooh, give me back identifier. And it's going to say string namespace. So this is the Minecraft colon and then the path. So basically, whatever it generally is. But for this, our thing is hmh3 dot mod ID. And you can see how it says it equals. And then there is basically our path. So there is all that. And it still says that we are missing our last thing in the registry, which uh, it's not here anymore. But it said make it a block. So if I come outside of here, I hit comma. And then I write block. It's fine. Everything in Java needs to end in a semicolon. So I put in a semicolon, and that is now there. So now we have basically said that every time I make a block, I need to register it. And what does a block need? It needs a string, and the block needs to be a block. And a block can have certain settings and stuff like that. But let's make a basic block. So it's going to look like this public static so I can use this block anywhere and I can call it in case that there is anything that I wanted to do we're going to say that it is a block and then what is the name of the block so um, we're going to say the name of it and this name is going to be the uppercase name I'm not really too sure what it's called but we're going to say it is block in all caps and we're going to equal uh, register block now, if I call for a block out of this file and I call for a block, I'm going to have to call it by this name. Um, but then it's going to say that, is this a block? Well, I'm registering right now. So I'm saying that this block equals and then here is where I'm actually registering it. And I'm registering, which means it needs the name and the string. So let's give it inside of here. Let us give it the name. Names are always put in quotes. So let's call it just a block. And then we are going to say comma because obviously this is split with a comma. And now we need to say that it is a block. So to make it a block, this is really easy. Just say it is a new, brand new block. And then inside of here, we are going to have to say, let's say it is settings.copy. And then I can say uh, block dot, oh, blocks dot. And so if I said sand, 
what this is going to do is this is going to take Minecraft's uh, sand and it's going to copy all of the attributes of that sand. Well, all of the settings that are in sand, because it says settings.copy. Um, we'll talk about settings and what they actually are. So it will not fall because this isn't a falling block. This is just a block. Um, it would just have the the stuff like is it uh, is it does it light up does it um, we'll, we'll we'll get into all that because I don't want to try and confuse you so you can either do dot copy if you don't know what you want it to copy as then simply we can make a brand new one by hitting dot create and that should fix it now it does say that they, it does say that there is one error and that is simply that we are done so we can hit a semicolon so now we have registered a block like I said at the beginning there was three steps so we have a block our blocks have to be registered. And so the last thing that we need to do is we need to initialize it. And initialization is a little bit weird. I'm really not too sure how to describe why this is the way it is, but watch this. It's really this easy. We're going to do public static void, meaning it's returning nothing. And then let's just say register is the name. We're going to put these things on here and then these things on here. And then literally, uh, that's basically the register. So let's claim for it. So we need to call the class file. The class file is basically the big blue with the class because the C, it means Java class. So this is what we're calling it by. So we're going to call it mod blocks dot. And then uh, block is now what we're using. And we said that we wanted to add nothing. So if I said like register block the method, then we're going to have to claim basically every new block in here. And we don't want to do that in initialization because it would be massive. So we're going to call the one that literally does nothing. And if I go back into it, it's got all this. So register is now in here. Uh, and then if because it's a method and it's my method, I can change the name however I want. So if I want to say a block, you're going to notice this thing is gray. The yellow orangey text, so like this yellow text means it's being clicked somewhere. If you want to see where it's being used, just middle mouse button, click on it, and there it is. And then if I go to this, it's not being called. So if I say register block, it'll now fix it. And then if I middle mouse button, click on it, it's going to move me to the class in which it's being used. However, it's not, it, okay, there it is. <laughs> now it recognizes that it's being used. Um, so now let's, up, uh, let's go into the client and then see if it is now working. All right, here we are. Minecraft is now all loaded up. We're going to go into single player, and then I'm going to go into a, a war game. I like to go into creative, and then I create a new world. Now, we haven't really done that much, so if I try and look for my new block in here, I'm going to tell you that you're not going to find it. You have to register in this thing, and that's going to call something called an item group, and we haven't made item groups yet. But we want to see if the block actually exists in the code. So if I say uh, slash give at s, and then here we can see where all of the namespace IDs. So everything that Minecraft owns is going to stay Minecraft colon and then whatever it is that is under the registry of that type. What do I mean by that? Let's give myself a stick and it gave me an item. I know it gave me an item because it exists in my inventory, but we made a block. So can I still have it as the block? So let's say the same command. And let's start typing our thing. If I say HMH3 and then I say block and hit enter, it's going to say that I have made an unknown item. And that is because we did not register an item. We registered a block. So no, it couldn't find what I was doing for. But let's say I did this slash fill. And then I'm just going to hit this a couple times, exactly six, because it's basically from and to. And then you can see in the parameters here, it says block. So now if I say HMH3, whoa, all right. So it seems that we have a little a bug um, in our thing. Actually, let me keep it up here. So it says Minecraft colon HMH3. Now I have never personally made this mistake, but I know exactly what happened when I made this mistake. 
So let's go back into the code real quick uh, and pretend that this didn't exactly happen. So in our identifier, basically saying who owns this, I basically said HTMH3.modID, and the mod ID is simply, well, it's supposed to be my thing, but it did get overrun uh, because I did not say ask for its name. So you can do that by saying name. I should have noticed, I should have noticed, because when this is being grayed out, it is not being used, and I said that it does need a name, but hey, we all make mistakes. So now if <laughs> now if we reload the world, it should be, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try and do that again. Normally, I wouldn't include a bug like that, especially in the tutorial, but hey, the more, the more you see and the more you learn, oh, look at that, the blocks are gone. The blocks that exist were gone because I changed the, the I, I changed ownership. So let's do the same thing, slash fill, one, two, three, and then we're gonna do HMH3 block. You can see it's at the very top there. So now I have ownership of that block. Bam, it's right there. Now, it's gonna still do the same thing if I do the slash give at S, and then if I try and do the HMH3 uh, block, it's not going to work because it's we only registered it as a block. So if I middle mouse button on this gla grass, if I middle mouse button on this grass block, if I middle mouse button on here, it's not going to do anything. And that is because, well, if we want this as a block, it exists as a block. Uh, if I go in survival and I break, it breaks instantly. There's nothing it can do. But if we want it to be a true block, all blocks are items. So because of that, we can actually register it that way. So we have register block, and we're not going to really do this uh, often, but let's make a, another registry. So we're going to make a uh, private. Uh, private means it can only be seen within this class, and then I'm going to say static, and then we're going to be making an item. Uh, and the item is basically going to say for every block, we're going to make a block, but also for every block, we are going to make a register blo uh, block item. So, because every item is a block. Now, what is every single block item going to need? Well, it is a block and it is an item and they're going to need the same things. So it also still needs to be a block and then we're going to do the same thing in here. Now, technically, we don't actually have to register this, but well, we, we do because the way I'm saying it. Uh, let's do the same thing where um, we do return uh, re uh, registry with a T dot register registries dot and what are we registering are we registering a, a block no we already did that we need to do an item and we're going to do the same thing with the new identifier and we're going to do the hmh3 dot mod id comma name name and then if i say uh block uh and then put a little semicolon it's going to say hey what's wrong here if i go in here it's going to say that basically the register as an item an item can't necessarily be a block, but what it can be, if I say new and then I say block item, notice how it says net.minecraft.item because blocks, block items are items <laughs> despite them also being blocks because block extends block item. So block extends block, or block item extends item. So, we're going to need to fill this. We're basically going to say that our block item consists of the, whatever block this is, which is the block that we're making, and it's going to need new fabric item settings because it is also going to be an item. And the item settings aren't going to have anything special because, well, it's just going to be that. So where do I register this? Also, I wanted to, I, I said I was going to notice this earlier. If I said register block, it's going to say, hey, there is this huge thing where it's going to say... Uh, is already defined in mod blocks because it's talking about the register. If I call this item, uh, item, uh, it's going to then be okay because, like I said, you can actually have two methods be called the same thing, but the parameters or yeah, the parameters have to be different. So let's call actually let's just control Z until it fixes where it was. So up to here. So we need to register the block item. Now it would almost make sense that I would have to go like this, control D, we have our block, and then I would just have to register the block 
uh, block item. But the problem here is that we have a block called this and it's called a block and then I could have like an item I call block, but it still is saying, hey, the variable block is already defined in the scope. So I need these names to be the same, just like these ones, but it seems that it's causing issues. There's an actually much easier way to do this because actually that way is impossible. So if every block is an item, why don't we <laughs> do it in the register here? All we have to do is register block item and then say that it has to have the same requirements, such as the same name, and it has to be the same block. And then if I hit a semicolon, because that says the end of every command. So now it is basically, I have shoved basically this inside of this code right here. And then it's going to read this. And because this is containing this in here, it's actually reading this whole thing as one and then it is registering the blo each block. So now each block has a block and each block has a block item. So let's take a look inside of the Minecraft world and see if it made an item. All right, here we are. It seems that our block is once again gone. And then if I do slash fill and, oh, and then I have the HMA3 block, bam. And if I easily middle mouse button click, uh-oh, all right, and then if I simply middle mouse button click on here, uh, it will uh, it'll it'll work. I thought it wasn't working. It was because I was in survival and I didn't recognize it. I was about to I was about to freak out for a second because I was like, I know I coded that correctly. Um, you can also use the slash give command. Give yourself another uh, item, and then if we go in survival, it'll be a block place, and obviously it doesn't have a loot table or anything. Uh, if you're curious why it's this black and magenta checkerboard, this is basically what you're going to see when it is an absolute missing texture. You can also make it completely invisible by screen, uh, giving it a screen overlay and making that screen overlay absolutely invisible, and that'll make it a non-opaque, but that's just some more complicated stuff, and we'll get there to a moment. All we need to know is that we have a block and an item and so we have now registered the very first thing. We'll talk about the texturing, the laying, and all that in the different videos. But for now, I hope that you did a try at your best to understand all this. Now, like I said, this kind of stuff is going to be a little bit complicated at first. And obviously, the more exposure you get, the more it'll make sense to you. Um, right now, I wouldn't be too focused on trying to understand every word for word means but just understand that eventually you will get it. I get it, and it took me more than a year, so eventually you're going to get it. It's generally all going to be about exposure. The more you're exposed, the more you use it, the more you'll understand it, the more you understand it, you got it. I mean, if you want a pro tip, so notice how like this thing is also going in. Um, Funny enough, I can actually say that this is go can be void, meaning it doesn't return anything, and then I could do like this. If I really wanted to, because it is void, I can actually say to do this, control C, and then I can have it do this right here, and then we can actually have uh, this code inserted inside of here, and then if I delete this, we now have it register the item as a block, and then we can have it register the item and a block at the same time. If you want to do it either way, it is perfectly fine. Let me try and explain what happened here. So basically, uh, we registered a block and we registered an item. Now, we, despite us making a block, it's we are making a block item, which is an extender of that, but item doesn't truly need to be called because it isn't truly an item it truly is a block but we allow it to be an item because we're saying let this item we're registering it as an item and then we're making this a block item in which it is both a block and an item because it says block and block settings and it's going to say block this dot you know but basically this whole thing we'll get into this kind of stuff when we get into methods but as of now well, we can we can do like insert of code. So basically void, void means it doesn't return anything. Uh-oh, let's just kind of close out of this. So we're gonna do, <laughs> we'll get to that. And then, like I said, we'll also learn about how to do this, which is just uh, compressing code. So we can make compressed code as well. But right here, this would be the entirely finished product. 
So we have a register block. As long as it is registered in there, it is perfectly fine. We have the block and the abstract. We got the register block, perfectly fine. So then that should be the complete, uh, that, that, I mean, that's the registered tutorial. So now if I, I can make as many blocks as I want. So now if I have block one, and then if I have block one, we will have two unique blocks. So then let's restart it one last time before we close things up. Let's make sure that this is still working perfectly fine, which it should. And then we will also be able to see that I have two blocks. So you can call those names whatever you want. So let's open up the world just as we normally do. And so now we have block and then let's do slash give at s and then we can see we have block and block one. Obviously they are two different things. We can see that they are both items in our hand and then if I, you know, middle mouse button click, it'll give me to the right one. And the names are all the same because it has all that stuff in there. So every time you want to make a block, like I said, all your block really needs is it needs, just needs to have that different name up here and a different name up here because this is basically used. This part on the left is used for all the coding in here, while this is just the name of the actual block when you're using it in all of the assets and data down here. So think of this as the Java, the net, and then this is the resource name. So, but they do need to be the same because, well, they are the same thing and you wouldn't want to mess things up. But that is going to be the end of this uh, blocks tutorial. Hopefully you understood everything. I'm gonna delete this for now. Uh, I just wanted to show you that's how you make more. Um, so if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments below. I'll try my best to try and answer them all. Uh, and then hopefully we can get into the next tutorial soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. And without further ado,